With the first snows forecast uh, this year, I couldn't resist a, a trip out to Scotland to see it. It's absolutely epic out here. Uh, stunning scenery, amazing wildlife. And we're just going to see how much we can see over one long weekend. The rut's on at the moment, so there's a lot of roaring stags. We've got ravens overhead calling. It's going to be a really exciting weekend. When I first arrived in the Cairngorms, the scenery was how you'd expect it to be at that time of year. And all of a sudden this cold front came in from the north and we got this really big whiteout. It's just unbelievable that the landscape within a few hours is totally transformed. Just been right up into the mountains up there, just below the cloud line, and it's been incredible. I've seen hooper swans up there on the lake, mountain hares, and grouse up on the hill. It's just been an incredible day, but as you can see, the sun's now setting. It's time we get off this mountain, and we've got a quick way down today. Let's do it. Going through the snow in those conditions with all that camera equipment, so there's over 20 kilos on my back. So it's a serious backpack to take around with you. I absolutely love those conditions, so it's just always a pleasure to be there. And it tests you as well, it's always challenging. But I have a lot of respect for the wildlife that we're watching there. They're the really tough animals. So we've just spotted 100 uh, red deer on the hill over there, and it's the rut and there's a male stag up there trying to fend off all of the other rival stags. It's quite an incredible sight and we've just got to try and get close now. We're going to use the shoulder of this hill here as cover and get as close as we can but with all those eyes watching us it's going to be very difficult to get close but we're going to give it a good go. It's a really exciting opportunity. Getting close to the deer is always a challenge on the hill because they spot you or smell you they just simply set off and they don't stop. You know, they just keep going and going. So they're very wary of people. Quite often we're spotting, you know, groups that were way out in the open and there was literally no way you could get close to them. But just using the terrain, we managed to get close enough to do some filming of these deer. And then at, at one point they just spotted us and then they just set off across the hillside and it was one of the most incredible things to see, you know, over a hundred of deer on the move across this hillside and one by one they just disappeared over the brow. It was absolutely spectacular sight. So I'm absolutely surrounded by roaring stags, it's the rut. And I've just got this a telescope, we've got the BTX eyepiece on, so we've got binocular vision. We can pull out the stags right in the distance and it's crystal clear. We even spotted a golden eagle earlier being mobbed by ravens.
So I've had an incredible weekend in Scotland in this magnificent scenery. So we've seen the red stags in full roar in the rut, uh, mountain hares, they're changing white to blend in with this landscape. Uh, red grouse, black grouse, there's been so much to see this weekend. We even see golden eagles flying overhead. It's just been incredible. I was out on one of those long walks up into the mountains and I came across this lock. I'd already seen some birds landing. To my surprise, there was 32 hooper swans on there. And that was just like, whoa, <laughs> we're in such harsh environment. These birds come from a harsh place, but to be up there in a full on blizzard and you then come across these absolutely pristine, beautiful swans. So that was one of the really special sightings for me because it was totally unexpected. You know, I was up there looking for stags, grouse, hares, and came across the swans, so it was one of those things I just had to paint. one of those moments that you've got these swans in front of you and it, it literally is like a, a landscape of ice, snow and water. And then you've got these dazzling yellow beaks uh, and that's the sort of thing I wanted to portray in the painting. Sometimes the wildlife is simply too far away from my prime lenses uh, and even sometimes from my binoculars. So the scope's a crucial bit of equipment because way up on the hillside I'm watching this stag commanding the group of hinds strutting about with you know, great intent and it's a case of trying to then replicate what you've seen. You know, this is just the start. I'll be doing many more uh, drawings and paintings from this trip. Uh, I've got three done so far and I've only been back just over a month. So there's going to be many more, uh, you know, things to come. I've got a mountain hare one here nearly done. And they were just great. They were just turning white for winter. You know, the, the snow had come too soon for some of the hares and they were still brown. Others were changing colour and, uh, you know, trying to whiten up really quick <laughs> because the, the whole landscape was completely white. It was absolutely stunning. Mm -hmm. 